Okay guys, so I've been playing guitar for quite a while and doing YouTube for a while and lately I've been thinking about sort of branching out into different business ideas and one of the things I was thinking of doing was making my own effects pedal. And what I was really thinking about doing was making one pedal that combined several different effects into one unit that would allow you to get a complete, really awesome lead guitar tone. And I was thinking I would like it to be relatively small, sturdy, easy to use, affordable, something that was kind of old school with no firmware that needed to be updated or anything like that, and also something that didn't depend on having a great amp to use it with. So imagine all of that in one pedal. That sounds like a great idea, right? Well, naturally, someone else had already thought of it. So allow me to introduce you to the Mosky Audio DC5. This thing checks off all of the boxes of specs that I wanted in that pedal that I was thinking of, and this thing is crazy affordable. Now, before we go any further, I wanna stress that this is not a sponsored video. I have no affiliation with Mosky. I just bought this off of Amazon, just like everybody else. I was just, you know, sort of looking out there to see what pedals were already out there that were kind of doing the thing that I wanted to do. I found this one and it really impressed me with how good it sounds, especially for the price. So I thought, well, this is going to be a perfect video for my hard rocking yet very budget minded audience. Okay, so let's go over the specs and how you use this. But first, the price. So this pedal only costs around $50. And for that one price, you're kind of getting five effects in one, or at least five uh, stomp boxes in one. You can kind of think of it that way. Now, the first thing you're getting is a great distortion sound, and you can toggle this off and on. All of these different things, these different effects in this pedal, you can turn them off and on, so you don't have to use them all at once at the same time. But yeah, it starts with a great distortion sound. Now, we've got a modulation here. We've got a chorus effect. Also, on the end of the chain, there's a delay effect. So you've got distortion, chorus, delay, which can give you a great, just like shred guitar tone. But in front of that, you've got an overdrive unit, which comes in front of the distortion to give it that sort of saturated, really compressed overdrive sound. And then even before that, you've got a boost section. And this is like a they call this a buffer booster. It's basically like a very clean signal boost right at the front of the pedal. So you've got these five different sections in the pedal. And then, of course, the input and output. It runs off of a totally standard 9-volt DC uh, pedal power supply. So like a one-spot or any standard uh, effects pedal power supply will run this thing. And it has very cool lights on it, which is always a big plus in my book. But now let me talk about how you set this thing up, how you plug it in, because that's kind of important. This one unit here can completely replace the preamp section on an amplifier. And the way I'm actually using it is I'm actually running this in front of my two notes torpedo cab, which is basically like a cabinet simulator pedal that I have. I did a review of that fairly recently, a few weeks ago. And it actually also has a, uh, a power amp section in there. And so I'm basically using that as sort of the power amp and speaker section of what the amplifier would normally be. And then this is kind of acting as the preamp and the effects section. Now, if you have just a standard amplifier, the way I would recommend using this would be to plug your guitar into the input, obviously, and then plug the output into the effects return on the amplifier, so in the effects loop. But in that case, you're not going to be plugging your guitar into the front of the amplifier. You plug your guitar into this, then you plug this into the effects return. So basically, the preamp and your effects is coming from this, and then the power amp section of your amplifier is just, you know, amplifying the actual signal and making it loud. Now, what's great about that is because you are completely replacing the preamp section of whatever amplifier you're using, if you have an amplifier that just doesn't really sound that good, like let's say you have like a PV Windsor or something like that, sorry PV, but what you can do is you can use this pedal to just completely bypass whatever the uh, inherent tone is of the amplifier and get all your tone from this section. And this thing sounds awesome, which I'll give you guys some sound clips in, in just a second here. But yeah, I think the real sort of magic of this thing is, for one, the price, 50 bucks for this thing. And then the other thing is the particular effects that are built into this unit. 
These to me is, is just a great classic combination to just get an awesome lead guitar tone. So anyway, let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll listen to how it sounds. But real quick guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool, affordable guitar gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in and listen to how it sounds. Okay guys, so the Mosky Audio DC5. So let's talk about the tone of this thing a little bit. I love the distortion sound of this pedal. Several years ago, I reviewed a pedal that was kind of a similar idea, where it's like a combination pedal of a few different effects, and that was the Sonic Cake Black Hammer. And that was, a, a sim again, a similar idea, but to be honest, the distortion didn't sound as good as this one and also that unit was more expensive so it didn't sound as good and it cost more which is a bad combination but this pedal has this super tight very classic but still high gain sounding distortion and that combined with the overdrive and even the uh, booster section can give you that super pushed like really focused saturated uh, shred sound now the guitar I was using in the demo is, uh, that's also something I've reviewed in the past, that is the SC77 
a sort of Les Paul style guitar from AIO, All-in-One Guitars. I'm a huge fan of that brand, as you guys probably know. And yeah, so that's a, like a Les Paul style guitar with a couple of humbuckers, very standard in terms of electronics and so forth. And that tone, you know, a nice thick humbucker tone combined with this unit gives you this really, really nice, very thick but articulate, very responsive tone. Now, after listening to this thing and messing around with it for a while, I think the chorus section is probably the weakest link of this unit. And it's not that it sounds bad, but I wish I had a little bit more control in terms of, you know, the knobs and so forth here. Like, I, I wish I had a mix control on the chorus, which we don't. We only have the rate and depth controls. But that being said, I really have to nitpick to find anything to complain about this thing, because again, it's like, okay, I wish I had slightly more control with the chorus section. The pedal costs $50 and sounds awesome overall. I'm not gonna complain. Now, the only other downside to this thing is that it does not come with its own power supply. But again, like I said earlier, any standard nine volt DC power supply will operate this thing. So, uh, like I've got a couple of one spot units, which are like, $20, which you can use to run a whole bunch of pedals, or if you have really any kind of uh, pedal power supply for like a Boss pedal or, or anything standard like that, it'll operate this as well. And I think if you're looking for a setup or a rig that is very, very simple and easy to transport, I mean, just think about the setup that I used in this demo. Aside from the guitar and the cables and stuff, the only thing I'm using is this and then my little uh, two notes torpedo cab emulator pedal. And that's a pretty small pedal too. That's the only thing I'm using. All of the tone is coming from that stuff. I'm not even using a regular amplifier. And so you could do a gig like that easily. You could bring this and like, a, like this cabinet emulator thing. And that's your entire setup. You just have a DI that comes out of that cabinet emulator pedal, which can go out to the uh, the mixing board or whatever, the, you know, the PA and the venue you're playing in, and then you hear yourself coming through the monitors. That's your entire setup that you need to do a show. You could almost fit your entire rig in a pocket. Certainly a backpack would be no problem. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think of this thing, and uh, in particular the tone. Um, you know, it's like, it's an aluminum case and everything. It seems, you know, everything's very sturdy, nice heavy-duty switches. 50 bucks, I'm super impressed with it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out and everything. Now, I'm going to have links for this down in the video description below. I will also have links for a bunch of other things down there, like my new instructional program. I've got a special 50% off link down there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.